check out how the video at Glacier plugin works. After you install the plugin, you would see a new item here called Video at Glacier. We click on that. And your first thing you want to do is to go ahead and set up your video and your ads. I'm going to give the video a name. This name only appears for your reference only. Next thing I want to do is go to YouTube to find a video. In this case, I've already scoped out a video that I want. And in the address bar here in the browser, all I want to do is highlight that specific area right after the V equals and copy that. Then I'll come back over to my video ad placer and paste the video ID right here. And the plugin will immediately grab the video so that we can look at the video while we work. Then comes the most important part, which is to add your ad messages. In this case, I've already prepared a couple of messages that I want to add. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this message right here that I've pre-prepared and paste it into the spot. And I wanted it to appear between five seconds to 10 seconds. So I'll enter it right here from five seconds to 10 seconds. Then I'll add another. I've copied my message and I'm pasting it right here. I wanted this one to appear 17 to 12 to 17 seconds. Let's add a third one and we'll have this appear from 19 seconds of playtime to 24 seconds. Of course, you can do it all the way. This video is, let's say, three, three minutes and 50 seconds long which means it would almost 240 minutes. So we can also bump it all the way up to 240 if we want right here. Then it will show the entire length of the video if we wanted to do that. Next, you can also add a message for when the video is paused. Uh, let's go ahead and try that. We'll use the same sign up to our newsletter message and also the same one when we end it and maybe this time we'll change it up a little bit your next option is to be able to replace the end screen when a youtube video finishes playing it will usually show what other videos that people can explore and the video stays up if you want to entirely replace this you can what we've done here is I have pre-prepared a message and I'm going to paste it right here. Uh, as the other fields above, we can use HTML. And I have included a last call to action with a link to the newsletter. And you can put anything in here. Next, you have the option to display player controls. Uh, we shall say no. You can also autoplay. In this instance, I want to autoplay. And by default, when a user clicks away from your video, the video will pause. And when they come back, it will autoplay again. So let's check this for now and see how that works out. We we'll click Save Settings. Another thing that I want to do before I publish my video is I want to give the ad box some styling, at very least a background color so that my ad will stand out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a color for my background. And if I wanted to, I can also select a font color. The font color will, if you don't set anything, it will use your themes default. Uh, in this case, I'll just use my themes default. And maybe I want all the font sizes to be larger here. So I'll put maybe about 20 pixels right there and save settings. Now we shall add the video that we just created a moment ago into a post. First thing I do is I place my cursor where I want the video to appear. I want it to appear above this paragraph. So I'm placed my cursor right there. And I'm gonna click on this video add placer button right there and select the ad that I've just created and insert into editor. 
the short code will immediately be entered into the editor for me and I shall update this post now. The post has been updated. Let's view it. And there is my first message. There is my second message. There's my third. And if I click away from it, the video has stopped playing. When I return, the video will play again. So if we pause, this is the message that will show when we pause the video. Now the video is ending and you will see that my image has shown up my end screen with the message that I've entered for the end screen has appeared replacing the video and any other messages that I had before. And that's it. It's a pretty powerful plugin and you can do all kinds of things with it, with all kinds of advertisements and messages as videos are playing. I hope you like it. Grab yourself a copy today.